Checkout Tracking by the NPD Group brings you a receipt collecting system that gathers data anonymously through technology we created, providing your businesses with answers. So good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here uh, today. It's a pleasure to uh, meet all of you. So let me start by a show of hands, OK? So please raise your hand if you would like to make more money from your game. Right, raise your hand. Yes, you know you want it. OK, <laughs> excellent. So yeah, I mean, as you know, uh, companies like Zynga or Electronic Arts have built uh, businesses around premium games and in-app purchases, but they also make tens of millions of dollars in advertising every year. Um, my role at Google is precisely about that. Um, I specialize in helping video game developers monetize more smartly across IEP and ads by using Google's uh, analytics and ad serving technologies. So let me start by uh, taking a step back first. Um, as you can imagine, Google has a lot of touch points with the gaming industry. In fact, we have a very large set of tools to help um, game developers and publishers. Our ambition, really, is to give you the tools that you need to build your game, acquire a user base, engage your audience, and monetize your games, ultimately, right? Like, make money out of your game so that you can make more games. And today, I'm going to focus on our analytics and monetization products, specifically AdMob. Uh, but obviously, Google is much more than that, right? One example, um, AdWords is a massive user acquisition platform, uh, giving you access to more than one billion users. Um, not to mention many other Google products um, that are used literally by millions of app developers and publishers, such as, you know, obviously Google Play, YouTube, uh, Google Cloud, Chrome, and many others. So one thing I would like to quickly clarify before going ahead, because sometimes this leads to confusion, is that everything I will cover here today with you applies across platforms, right? iOS, Android. Um, AdMob is a cross OS uh, platform. Um, in fact, um, over the uh, last year, we have seen equal growth in the number of iOS and Android developers uh, joining the AdMob platform. Uh, today, AdMob helps monetize more than 650,000 apps uh, and handles more than, actually, way more than 200 billion ad requests every month. Beyond that, uh, we're also fully integrated with uh, Unity and Cocoa Studio X. So if you happen to be a, a game developer that uses Unity uh, 3D or Cocoa Studio X, um, it's even easier to integrate our solutions. So yeah, that's, that's good news for you. All right, so Google has a bunch of really fantastic tools to help you tap into the in-app advertising opportunity. But what is driving that in-app advertising opportunity? And more to the point, uh, what is the size of that opportunity, right? Well, remember this number, $62 billion by 2017. $62 billion will be the size of the in-app advertising space in 2017, according to a recent study by Vision Mobile. Now, $62 billion will be the amount of money being paid by advertisers to app and game publishers and developers to show ads in their games and apps, right? Um, this is huge. Um, and uh, I mean, just think about the order of magnitude, right? Um, this is the, the, the pool of money that you could have access to, right? If you could capture 0.1% of that opportunity, that would mean $62 million in a year, right? 0.1% is $62 million. So um, now this, this number, $62 billion, is really important because it means that in-app advertising will be a larger revenue opportunity for app developers than in-app purchases. So in-app advertising bigger than in-app purchases. In fact, this is already the case today in countries like the United States and the United Kingdom. Um, In-app advertising is set to triple in size 
between 2014 and 2018. And you know, there are a number of trends driving this, this quick shift uh, towards advertising. And you probably know most of them, right? Um, the majority, up to 90% of apps are free, right? And many of those apps are being supported by advertising. In-app purchasing is not a holistic revenue model, right? Because by all accounts, 5% or less of all freemium users ever spend any money in apps. And thirdly, the in-app advertising space itself is maturing and generating better um, experiences for users, right? Through native ads, video ads, and you know, different types of advertising options. So it's really coming into, into its own. All right, so rather than me telling you, <laughs> I would like to, to show you an example of a customer uh, really uh, growing with AdNob. It's Backflip Studios specifically, and kind of <laughs> saying hi to one of uh, our Backflip uh, partners here. Um, so Backflip Studios, right, the creators of classics like um, Ninjump or Paper Toss. Um, so this is Julian Farrier, the uh, CEO of Backflip Studios. Uh, he created Backflip in 2009, and they were one of the uh, pioneers in terms of a smartphone advertising, uh, smartphone gaming, excuse me. Um, the relationship with Google and AdMob goes back to those days, and today Backflip uses a combination of uh, Google products, specifically DoubleClick for publishers and AdMob, to manage both their internal cross-promotion system and also to generate paid advertising revenue, right? So they can maximize the revenue across in-app purchases and advertising with our tools. So I'm gonna roll the video and let them speak for themselves. I feel like I am living out my 12-year-old dream, which is to have created an interesting gaming company and we get to create product that people care about and that you know, resonates from an emotional standpoint with a very broad range of folks. Backflip Studios started about six years ago with a small group of people and we we went to market quickly we started it with the idea that mobile was going to change sort of the landscape and ecosystem of gaming so we created all these free engaging casual games and we had this huge audience but at the time we weren't really sure how we were going to monetize it and how we were going to create a sort of a sustainable gaming company out of that when you're creating a mobile business you have to focus on the stability and you have to be able to scale that operation without google we would have to work with about 20 different partners to be able to accomplish what we do today we use the android platform Platform in addition to App Engine. And we've really seen our sort of live products be able to scale with the server infrastructure and back-end infrastructure of App Engine. We then monetize those games with in-app purchases, virtual goods, as well as advertising revenue. And we use DFP um, to run our internal ad network, and then we monetize uh, using AdMob. In order to do that, we have to acquire users at a very low cost and at a very large scale. So we know that 90 to 95% of our users are not going to spend within the game. Google allows us to segment our users in order to maximize the value we can get from folks who are spending in the game, as well as advertising revenue from folks who are not spending in the game. On the Engage side, we have Google Cloud Storage to scale our game as it grows. We post our game in the Google Play Store. Being able to target users based off of demographics, spend behavior, makes it so we have a better relationship with the customers we're trying to reach. And AdWords is the first platform that we have used that allows us to target directly customers who are guaranteed to have made a purchase. The idea that Google has a number of different tools that we can leverage, it's allowed us to sort of manage a portfolio of varying products with different revenue models on each. Google's product roadmap is really impressive and it's really become the, the Swiss army knife for us uh, in terms of monetization and we're excited to see what else they're going to come out with. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, so really a partner growing faster with, with AdMob. All right, so, um, so there you go. Um, there's definitely a massive opportunity there, those $62 billion. And at Google, we are committed to uh, giving you the tools that you need to tap into the ad opportunity in a way that is, that is flexible, smart, and compatible with your other businesses, right? I mean, we want you to be able to tap into in-app advertising while at the same time maintaining your IP and premium businesses, and first and foremost, respecting the user experience, right? Because we know that ultimately the best apps are those that uh, put the user first and build monetization around that user experience. So 
taking that into account, what should be your monetization strategy, all right? So this is our answer at Google. At Google, we have built a smart monetization platform that enables you to use your own data alongside Google proprietary data to really maximize the um, revenue opportunity out of each impression in your game. Now, um, with AdMob, we are really fortunate to work with tens of thousands of developers day in and day out. And in our work uh, with them, um, we have identified three key challenges, right? Three key issues that developers face when uh, trying to uh, optimize their monetization. The first challenge is knowing your users, obviously. You know, who are they? Who are the spenders? Who are the non-spenders? The second challenge is once you know your users, how to adapt your monetization strategy to the different types of users how to maximize across IP and ads, right? And the third challenge is once you decide to use advertising as a monetization uh, system in your games, how to maximize that ad revenue, how to maximize that ad yield, which requires your navigating a really complex um, ad monetization um, ad network uh, space, right? So um, you know, I'm happy to say that Google, we have developed solutions to each of these challenges. And I would like to spend a few minutes going through three recommendations that address each of these three challenges. And uh, if you apply these recommendations, you will be on your way to a world-class world monetization system. All right, so let's start with the first one. Uh, knowing your users, right? Who are they? What drives them? This statistic blew my mind, right? Apparently, according to a Vision Mobile survey, only 21% of app developers use any kind of mobile app analytics system. Right, only 21%. I mean, come on, guys, right? We, we can do better than this, I'm sure. And you need to use mobile analytics in order to know your users, right? So this is why in 2014, um, we merged Google Analytics and AppMob. So basically, uh, today, um, AppMob developers have access to a fully-fledged analytics system within their AppMob interface. <coughs> now, this layering of a... Um, an analytics solution inside AppMob, alongside other uh, changes that we're making in terms of adding machine, intelli machine uh, learning and artificial intelligence in the back end, these changes have had um, a profound impact into the nature of AppMob. AppMob is no longer um, an ad network or an ad server. It truly is an audience aware platform today. Basically, a, a smart monetization engine that crunches enormous amount of data about your app, your users, your advertisers in a fraction of a second and finds the right monetization opportunity for you. you know, and that could be an in-app purchase promotion, it could be an ad by AdMob or another network. So this leads me to the second challenge, right? So once you know your users, how do you treat different users differently? How do you adapt your strategy to those different types of users? Because obviously, the ultimate objective here is realizing the value of your audience, right? Realizing the value that resides in those different uses, users. And in some cases, this will require um, really pushing in a purchase promotions, right? And getting them to become spenders if they have the potential to do so. But in other cases, um, that value will be realized through ads or you know, other business benefits. So let me tell you how AdMob enables you to treat different users differently. Um, you can perform custom audience targeting with AppMob, all right? So the first step here is to use AppMob's analytics kind of uh, solutions to um, segment your user base based on their behavior, right? You can separate your uh, casual users on one side and your highly engaged users on another, right? Your highly engaged users being those users that spend money in your app or game or are likely to spend money in your game. Once you've done that, separate your casual and your highly engaged users, you can uh, uh, tell automatically tell AdMob to only show paid ads to your casual users and hide those ads from your highly engaged users. That's, that's the least of things, right? At least, you know, if you have <laughs> some users, and by all accounts, it's always going to be less than 5%, right, of your user base. But, you know, if you have some users making IAP purchases, right, do not show ads to those guys but do show ads and make some money from you know, the casual users. So that would be a step one, but let me, let me take this a step further. Right? Um, instead of not showing ads to 
um, your uh, engaged users, what you could be doing is showing them in-app purchase promotions uh, to boost your IP in that game, or showing them cross-promo ads to promote and boost installs across your game portfolio, right, if you have more than one game. If you do this, you start to really, truly, fully tailor your monetization strategy to your different types of users, and you can do all of this on AdMob for free uh, using our off-the-shelf house ads capabilities. Let me spend one more second on IIP ads specifically. Okay, so house ads to promote your own in-app purchases. This is a format that we have really doubled down on over the last um, couple of quarters. And um, okay, the revolutionary thing with this format is, is the following. AdMob is able to automatically figure out which of your users not only are spending money, but also which ones are likely to spend money in your app, even though they haven't yet. Okay? So even before those users unveil themselves as spenders, AdMob, through our algorithms and proprietary data, AdMob is able to identify which of them will potentially become spenders. Right? We're rolling this on Android first. And um, just, just think about the implication for a second. Right? Um, basically, what this means is that even if you have a core game, mid-core, hardcore game, you can use AdMob to identify your spenders and potential spenders, serve them in-app purchase uh, ads or cross-promo ads, and then safely create an additional revenue source by showing paid ads to your casual, non, your casual users unlikely to become spenders. Right? So this format is really a double whammy in terms of the impact, right? because you're boosting your IEP and creating a fully new um, monetization uh, revenue stream through, through paid ads. All right, so the good news here is that for um, Unity developers, uh, our uh, Unity plugin also supports um, IP ads. And all right, so we've covered the first two challenges and first two recommendations, right? Knowing your user and uh, adapting your strategy to your different users. Now, the third challenge was navigating the highly complex jungle of uh, the in-app advertising industry, right? Um, so, you know, here, here we go with it. Um, now. This is, this is a tricky one and actually comes in two flavors, right? Maximizing your ad deals across formats and then also across networks. So let me cover the one first quickly. Across formats, look, as you know, there are different types of formats, banners, interstitials, video interstitials. They perform differently and they serve different purposes. So if you start using ads, you want to make sure that you can leverage the whole portfolio of formats and that you partner with networks that can really deliver across formats. And this is really one of the strengths that Google has. We can pretty much fill any amount of ad requests that you send us um, across any uh, country because we are pulling ads from millions of AdWords advertisers and hundreds of DSPs and networks through our ad exchange. And we are doing it in real time through a highly efficient real-time auction, right? And we don't stop there. We keep innovating in terms of formats and demand sources. Um, one of the formats we're really excited about right now is native ads. We're rolling this out across our mobile um, platforms, and we're doing this at scale. What's really interesting about our native ads format is that you can decide basically the look and feel of these ads that you, know, you will make match to your game, and you can then upload um, this look and feel through a format file that you can change over time. So you can actually change the look and feel of your native ad over time without having to change anything in the app, in the game itself. You can do it server side. If you want to learn everything about our native ads, my colleague Sampada Telang will uh, be telling you everything about them uh, right here in this room at 5 p.m. today. So do not miss that session. Another extension I would, look likely, uh, I would like to quickly mention is AdMob Reservations that we are introducing now. Um, AdMob Reservations is adding direct sales capabilities and enhanced house ads capabilities to the AdMob platform. We're bringing new formats like rich media formats, 3D ads, moving images, really powerful, and uh, additional ad serving capabilities like pacing, frequency capping, and other, other such features. And finally, ending with the last bit kind of, of this uh, third recommendation, Optimize your ad deals across networks, right? Uh, the reality is that in the app space, in the game space, most publishers and developers that are making money via ads are using multiple networks, right? And networks perform differently over time in terms of fill, in terms of uh, CPM performance. So if you're doing this and using multiple networks, I beg you, please, 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 make sure that you're using a proper mediation system, right? A system that enables you to stack those networks 
uh, optimize them, make sure that you have the best ones on top most of the time, and uh, that you know, enables you to, to fall back if one of them isn't filling. So AdMob is really kind of top of the pack in terms of a mediation network. So AdMob doesn't only bring you Google demand, it also enables you to stack other networks. Um, We've invested a lot of time and effort into this system. You can mediate banners, interstitials, video, and most interestingly, coming soon, uh, also rewarded video ads. So we've partnered with all of the usual suspects, all of the large names in the uh, rewarded uh, ads industry. We are finalizing the integration process right now, and uh, we will be announcing the, uh, the full launch and the list of partners very soon. Um, AdMob is also really strong in terms of the number of um, certified SDK adapters that we have. We've come from uh, 25 last year to 40 this year. Um, now, one thing that's important to notice here is that this doesn't mean that you can only mediate 40 different networks. You can pretty much mediate every network, every format that you want on AdMob. It's just that for this 40, it's even easier, right? Because we already have a certified adapter that you don't download, plug in there, and then. But you know, there's no limit to what networks you can, you can add simply by adding your, your custom code in there. Um, another quick announcement. We are also finalizing, because this all applies to SDK-based networks, but we're also finalizing our approach to SDK-less mediation. So that announcement will also be coming soon in terms of getting more details. But basically, SDK-less mediation will enable AtMob developers to add additional networks to their mediation stack without having to integrate their SDKs. Right? It will just be a question of uh, clicking a box on the AdMob interface and adding the additional de demand. And last but not least, um, our uh, mediation platform is also highly automated, uh, if you want it to be. A couple of examples very quickly. You can uh, put AdMob outside of the uh, mediation waterfall and make it compete impression by impression with every single network on that mediation waterfall. Um, also, for around 20 of our 40 certified networks, um, AtMob is able to pull to scrape the CPM, so the price, uh, information from those networks and restack them automatically on your waterfall if you want it to. So, well, that's it. Monetize smartly <laughs> with AtMob and Google Analytics, making sure that you know your users with mobile app analytics, you adapt your monetization strategy with house ads and paid ads, and finally, you maximize your ad revenue across format formats and networks. So thank you so much. That is my uh, Twitter handle on email, and uh, I'll be outside to answer the questions. Thank you.